Hi, I'm Kino McGregor. We're here at Miami Life Center. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pashasana. This posture is the first one of the intermediate series and it's often a very challenging one. Alexandra's going to be my model today. We're going to take a look at how you could safely get into that. You want to start off in a squatting position. That may already challenge your flexibility. Some people have a hard time squatting down, so they need to leave the back of the heels off of the ground. That's no problem. The posture is then working to stretch the Achilles tendons. So if you need to start the posture with the heels off of the ground. You want to keep your weight into the heels. When you lean over to the side, you want to make sure that you're actually leaning from the side, right? So you want to move the body all the way over and lean from the side. Keep the shoulder rotating down as you bring the arm nice and around. You want to keep that downward movement with the shoulder and then reaching all the way around to take the hands together. Don't worry about how deep the bind is if the heels are off of the ground. After you start to twist from the spine, and then you can sink your weight back into the heels, twisting deep inside of the spine. The key is to keep the shoulder reaching over the knee as you twist deep inside of the spine. You want to feel a nice sense of stability coming into the posture, a nice sense of twisting deep within the body. After five breaths, you can release, and we'll try the other side, keeping both heels down. Now, if you're going to try with both heels down, you want to have a nice solid squat. The side stretch is really coming from deep within the body, so you really want to lean over the thigh, all right? You want to keep the distance, really keep the distance here. So let's just do that one more time so you can see. Keeping the distance here, here, reach all the way over. And then it's really important to keep the contact of the shoulder to the knee, reaching the arm around. Once you do all this work to get this arm in place, don't move it when you go for the other one. So you're keeping that down. The other arm, now this is the side that's moving, so you're twisting deep inside of the spine. It's better to get into the posture with the heels down because you can feel more stability enabling yourself to twist deeper. Be careful not to twist off of the knee, so you want to keep this shoulder moving down while you lift the opposite shoulder away. This involves an inward rotation of the thigh that you're twisting towards, a really deep sense of stability in the posture, and elongated breath. After five breaths, you want to release, taking the hands to the ground. The correct exit from Pashasana is not to jump up, but you're going to take the hands actually forward of Pashasana, forward of the posture, and then you're going to lean your weight forward as though you're lifting into a handstand, and then exhale, jumping all the way back. This involves a great test of strength and a great test of flexibility. Make sure when you enter the posture you feel that the bend comes from the waist, that you're not twisting only along the center line. You want to lean over towards the knee, that you feel a deep inward rotation of the hip joints. I'm Kino McGregor. These are some tips for Pashasana.